talked about this. So it should be really fun. fun. I should have worn my shirt like that, Lacey. I have one. I know, right? <laughs> uh, so I got to really mute fun. this. Hold on. Okay. All right. So we are on, you guys. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Let me pop out chat here. Okay. There we go. <laughs> We just had a fun little conversation with American oh, Mom, and she's yeah. here with us. I'm here. I am here. We made it through. <laughs> somehow, somehow we made it through. I, I think I was like, I was shaking. I was literally shaking. I'm here. Episode. I am here. We made it through. Sorry, I mute that. Yeah, I, mu <laughs> I muted mine, too. I was like, uh-oh, we don't need no uh, echo, 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 echo. echo. How's everybody doing? <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> oh, I don't know MF a name. You got that right. <laughs> I think it is. Oh, my baby girl. I was so nervous. We were talking about that. Steve and Lacey oh. were like, when Aria was by the throat, I thought, really, Game of Thrones, really? <laughs> yeah, I was like, no, I wasn't going to accept that. <laughs> yeah, during our, our reaction part, we're going to have to tell everybody to turn down the volume because yeah, yeah. we were probably yelling quite a few times. <laughs> wow, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, I don't even know where to start. I mean, Jora, number one. Those th those yeah. were tears. Those were tears. J Danny loved him. M maybe not the way he wanted her to love him, but she loved him and he did nothing but serve her. And he, all the way till the end, all the to way to the end. end, like he died for her. In her arms. And that's what I was, that, yeah. like, that's what I was thinking was that Jorah's going to die protecting Danny. Yes. Well, he did. And he, he sure did. And she was even like little badass Danny there at the end, like taking out. Yes. How many, I, I don't a sword? I've never seen her hold a sword. No. I mean, she, and she used it. She was killing things too. It was great. I, mean, I know. Oh, I, I like my brain is like going so fast right now. I don't even know what to grab on to. <laughs> I don't know. I, and then toward the end, when Bran looked at Theon and he said, you're a good man. I thought, oh, he knows this is it. Yeah. Like, but he needed to hear that, especially from Bran and right. Don knowing I was forgiven. You're a good man. Cause he like redeemed himself tenfold. Oh yeah. It oh, seemed yeah. like Theon's role played huge in the Arya's attack too. Yeah. It's like, well, Bran, what, what I said during when we were watching, I was like, Bran knew this was going to happen. That's why he gave Arya the the cat spa dagger. Exactly. He knew the whole time that that was going to happen. and But he just needed to, Theon needed that couple more seconds, I guess, of yeah. time. Yeah. yeah. And he did a great job. I mean, when it showed that view and, and Bran's just sitting there, he's still kind of spaced out. And every, I mean, like there's all these dead bodies around Bran, I'm like, they didn't get very close to Bran. Like, Theon was killing I was like, I was like, way to go, Theon. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he gave it his all. I mean, there was nothing more he could have done for the Starks, for Winterfell, for the North, than what he did. What he did was he, perfect. He gave I mean, all. He gave his all, yeah. He did. And I'm still confused about Rhaegal. Like, what's- yeah, Goosebumps just like, thinking about that. What's- oh. Well, yeah, Drogon was at the end with like Danny and Jorah at the end, but where? What? Yeah, where? Where is that going? What, like, it looked like he like had that crash landing, right? Yeah, like, yeah. yeah he fell off of him and he kind of crashed in, but it didn't show him die. No. Right. So I'm assuming he's just badly injured. There's these attacks on, on each other, and then right. Oh, I, don't I know, know at least one dragon survived because Drogon. Drogon. We know for sure Drogon did. But we're Rhaegal's questionable at this point. Right. We're thinking he's just injured, but, but wasn't it so sweet the way that Drogon kind of laid his head while Danny was holding Jorah? Yeah. Yeah. He like yeah. comforted her. Yeah. When the dragons were born. Remember? Yeah. Yeah. It was like blood of my blood, like right away. 
Yeah, and like he was comforting her. It's like Jora knew, uh, Dr Drogon knew Jora, like, you've been here yeah, for like <laughs> you got my mama's back always. That yeah. just gave me chills. I didn't know how to, feel. sometimes I didn't know how to feel. And I kept saying, okay, when I absorb everything, I'm going to like boohoo tonight. And I'm not going to be able to sleep probably, but it will. Uh, it's going to hit you in waves. We got, we got one comment. Okay. So, Paula says, who is the person with blonde hair riding away at the end? Did anybody catch I, that? I don't know if I saw it. I, I might not have saw that. I didn't see that. I, I didn't, didn't see, see that, that either. either. At the end, at the very end? At the very, yeah. After the Night King? Well, yeah. Well, that was Malisandra, right? She changed to an old woman. Right. Yeah. But she wasn't riding away. She, she was, was walking. walking away. Walking and then she fell. Yeah. That was that was interesting. I kept thinking Arya was gonna. I, that's what I oh, thought too, when they were look, when they were looking at each other. <laughs> I was like, Arya is gonna be because she was saying, uh, mm -hmm. "Don't worry, I'll be dead before the sun rises." Mm -hmm. And then her and Arya look at each other and we're like, Arya is gonna be the one to exactly. And then and then even towards the end, I was like, "Wait, Malisandra's still alive." I'm like, she said she'd be dead before the sun came up. I'm like, what's something's gonna happen? Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, and then she just takes her stuff off. And then I think I even said that. I was like, well, her work is done. Well, she played a big role. When she showed up, okay. a huge role. When it finally, you know, there was like no dialogue for a while and stuff. And then it was like, she showed up. I was just like, where the hell have you been? You know, <laughs> I know. It was like, and it, was so, it was so weird. Like right when she started like riding up, like number one, she was coming from the direction of the white walkers. Yeah. And I was like, we, we were trying to figure out who it was. And I was like, Oh, and then it showed it like focused on Davos's face. Uh -huh. And I was like, is that Malisandra? Mm -hmm. And then it showed it was her. No and I was like, how did I know that? <laughs> And I was, I think I was even saying like, Davis, don't, uh, I call him Davis. I said like, don't kill her. Not yet. She's here for a reason. Don't kill her yet. Like, not her yet. Out. we know you're angry. <laughs> Just slow down, slow so, down. So what was the point of her lighting all the Dothraki soldiers swords when it, they just, they charged and then that And then whole, it was nothing. Nothing. I was doing like, that. To kill the whites, right? Like, right. But then it just went, like you said, all the lights just they just start dwindling out, and we're like, oh great, now all the Dothraki are gone. Right. Um, that freaked me out. And then there was nothing, like just it was just like, and then Jorah and them started coming back a little bit. It was like, what happened back there? Still, yeah, I don't no know. saying a word. What happened? Yeah. And Ghost, I still yeah. don't. I know Ghost was in that charge. Yeah, so, yeah. We, I don't. I never saw yeah. Ghost again after the initial. No, we finally got to see him and move. <laughs> I would time. assume that he's still alive because we would likely see him die, I would think. Yes. Well, he's, he's a pretty good part. Yeah. He would go out blue yeah. or something. He, oh, okay. Uh, Ghost is still alive. He's in the episode four promo. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Ugh. I don't watch the promo, so y'all don't go too far into that. <laughs> yeah, I haven't, I haven't seen the promo yet either, so... Oh man, I what I was gonna say something else and now I already forgot. Was it about Alessandra? Oh yeah, oh yeah, it was. Uh when she looked over at Ar Arya and was like, What do you what do we say to the god of death? <laughs> Not today. And I'm like, wait, like that gave me the weirdest feeling. Like it did, yeah. she was very specific about the color of eyes that she would shut. Yeah. Right? And yeah. why do I feel like she's talking about people that are not who that we think they are. Oh. And then like a big Jack and Hagar moment, like kind yeah. of came into my brain for some reason. You said yeah. that too. Yeah, I did say that while I was like, I why do I feel like this has something to do with Jack and Hagar? But if you think about it, like who's like, okay, I don't, this is probably stupid, but uh, Cereal Pharrell had brown eyes. Yes. Brown eyes, green eyes. Did the waif had have green eyes or Jack and have green eyes? One of them I did. Think, I think Jack and had green eyes. I think you're right. But I think Jack I, I don't know, but I just I felt like it's connected somehow. 
somehow it's connected. We did have a question okay. uh, that was asked in the live chat. Where was Bran warging to? Not warging, warging to. I said warging, didn't you I? You said warging. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, not the birds the whole time. Oh, I don't uh, know. So where was, where was Bran off to? Yeah. Well, that's what I was wondering because I thought you're in the birds for a long time. Like there's, there's not, you can't always see anything up there. All that smoke and stuff. Yeah, like there. the storm. Like the yeah. storm. Yeah. So yeah, where was he? Was he? I, I don't. He, who knows? Yeah, that 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 was a good question, and I even thought that. Like, what are you doing, Bran? What are you doing? Yeah, like, oh, I would. Oh. Maybe he went to King's Landing. <laughs> Looking ahead. Looking ahead. We really what, yeah. got this battle done, right? We yeah. got a good show going on, but what's the hell going on over there, Cersei? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, this, I mean, this episode, like, literally, I think my, like, my back literally hurts right now because I of that. Yeah. I like how tense I'm, I was. Yes. I, I, I feel the pain. Yeah. My neck and my shoulders, because I was like this. Yeah. I like, and I, I, take, think, I was like, Ooh. I think we need a good massage. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we all need to go get a good massage. <laughs> does, does anyone think uh, we're owed an explanation on the White Walkers? Hate to say it, but that was too easy. Well, maybe Bran will do that in the next episode. Maybe. True. True. I mean... <sighs> Yeah, I hope so. I hope we get some sort of explanation other than they just want there to be continuous night. You know what I mean? Right. Maybe they don't now that the Night King's gone. Because if y'all remember, like when the fire was going and then they started laying themselves on top of the fire so that yeah. they could keep yep. going through, he right. kind of gave them this nod. It's like he talks to them. Yeah. Like this. So they know what to do, but he's gone. So maybe they're not in control. Like they were created, but they're not in control anymore because he's gone, which is still blowing my mind to say that. Cause I, I know I, I expected him to the end or at least episode five. Yeah. I, and I don't know what to think now. I'm just, I don't know. <laughs> well, I mean, he's definitely gone though. I mean, God, he shattered. He <laughs> shattered. He's done. And I, <sighs> I was so worried. I was like, oh, Arya's going to die. No, no. And this kind of goes along with what we were saying. Amy Cattell in the comments wondered if Bran's Ravens went to King's Landing to scope it out. Oh. Maybe. Maybe. He so. was out for a long time. He was just out of it for a long time while all that fight was going on, which I don't think he, if his eyes were open, what, what could he have done, really? But still. Right, exactly. <laughs> I was like, Bran, you're missing it. Oh, whatever. <laughs> so our first death was Ed. Yeah. Yes. Saving Sam. Saving yes. Sam. Is, yeah. Because he saved Sam. I was like, oh, my goodness. When I saw Sam down, I thought, man. Uh, no. Yeah. What is going to happen now? I thought I thought everybody was going to die at one point. Like, I know. Every, every scene, it's like, oh, my God, that, Jamie's going to die. Oh, my God, Brienne's going to die. Oh, yeah. my God. Ugh. Well, they, they were at their end. They would be attacked. They would be like bombarded like this going down. And I'd be like, no, yeah. what just happened? <laughs> and that's exactly. I'm like, wait, what? What? Uh, the stress, the okay, stress so level of this episode. Ed was first and then Barrick was second. Saving Aria. I'm so <laughs> excited again. Right. Because that was so tense. Oh, so and yeah. Uh, and then, and then Theon. Was it Lady Mormont? Oh yeah, Lady Mormont. Yeah, right. Lady Mormont was number two. She on, died. She was yeah. number three. Eric uh, was number two. Liana dead. Liana Mormont. The yeah. the giant. Yes. That was yeah. And then it was. And she killed Theon. the giant. Yeah, she, she killed him out. Yeah. He couldn't kill anybody else. She stuck him in the eye as he was crushing her to death. That that was epic. I, well, number one, I thought she was dead, like when he hit her. I right? did. I did that, that's when I originally thought she was dead, and then I saw that she was still alive, and I was like, "She got up screaming." 
Yeah. And then for some reason I thought Aria was going to somehow like shoot, shoot him before he was able to, and then no, she did it herself. Lacey's sitting here saying, Aria, kill him, kill, kill the giant. I'm like, no, Aria, don't mess with that giant. Yeah. Yeah. Stay away, Aria. Right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And, yeah. and then, okay. So then Dion was number four and then Jorah was number five. Beric was dead third. Yeah. Uh, from Melisandre and then, I have that wrong. From all, yeah, from Saban. And then number four. Theon, Theon and then Jorah. And then Jorah. And then Malachandra. And then so Malachandra. there were six six major deaths. And the big one being the Night King. Well, I Holy guess God. I guess, <laughs> I guess that would be seven then. Yeah. Look, if the if this group can kill the Night King, oh uh King's Landing. It's great. Cersei. Hello. <laughs> we're coming. We're coming, we're coming for you. Yeah, it's just the the problem that I'm having is that they have no army now. Yeah. They have no army now. All they have is like the main players, but no army. Dragons. The was well, 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 they got, yeah, they got the dragons and the dire wolves still. But yeah. Well, if there's any crew that I'm taking, it'd be them. <laughs> That's right. I mean... That was that was they epic. Don't back down. They don't back down. It, that it, that episode, you have to watch it again. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, for sure, for sure. And no, we've missed stuff. It was all in the dark. It was like watching Battle of the Bastards in the dark. Yeah. Yes. There's so much going on, you can't even wrap your head around anymore. Right. Well, I was almost sure I was missing deaths as people were going over the the top of the uh, the walls of Winterfell. I know. And I was like, who died, Lacey? Who who was that? Because I'm trying to keep up. And <laughs> we just I'm like, together because I was doing that too. I was like, who was that? Who was that? <laughs> <laughs> That's like, what we were doing. We're like, yeah, is that somebody we should care about? What? What? <laughs> Do I cry? Is it? What yeah. happened? Right. <laughs> now, my, my most, uh, probably the most emotional part for me was the Theon moment. Yes. I, I think the most emotional part for me was the Jorah moment. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. when, I mean, I cried. I didn't cry for anybody in this episode other than Jorah and Theon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, the other ones, it's like, yeah, uh, but I didn't really have that much of a connection, I guess, with the other ones. I didn't. I didn't either. We didn't know enough about Ed and Beric like we did Tormund, say. Like if Tormund would yeah. have died. Exactly. Yeah. Theon being with the wildlings and we've gotten to know him longer. Ed and Barrick were kind of like they had their important parts, but yeah, exactly, exactly. And then like Jorah, I probably cried the most over, and then Theon, I I was like, I I, I cried, but it wasn't like as powerful as for Jorah. Like Jorah, I was like sitting here like losing my shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, it's, it's just because. Uh, Jora, like his love for Danny and like all that. And oh, yeah. Anna said uh, there was a question from the live stream. I was wondering too, um, where did Daria jump from? That's what I was wondering. Yeah. Like, where did she even come from? She's like a ninja. Little Miss Ninja just pops out of the air out of nowhere. I'm telling you, the house of the black and white, people thought that that storyline and that character part of her art or her character arc was just like, and eh, what was that about? That's how <laughs> I felt. Right. She, she's doing this kind of stuff. She used that stick. She was blind and had to fight for her life. I mean, it was very useful. That's yeah. very useful. In yeah. hindsight, I feel very, uh, very bad about saying what was that all about? Because that's exactly how I felt. Yeah, I agree. But I don't know where she jumped from. She kind of had that. Like she was, was mid-air. Like, yeah. I'm like, did what? Is there like a trampoline in the back? Like, how did she get so high up? I'm like, <laughs> she like jumped from the back of somebody. Like, Hound is like carrying her on his back or something, yeah. and she like leaps from him. I don't know what's going and on. Craig said it best. <laughs> the girl has a or has a particular set of skills. Yeah, <laughs> in a Liam Neeson voice. <laughs> I have a particular set of skills. 
Uh, and, you know, I think that my death, uh, who I thought was going to die in this episode, was pretty on point, except for Jorah. Like, I was still holding out hope that Jorah was going to survive somehow. I thought but Bran I, was going to go down. Yeah, you said, and my top deaths were Beric, Ed, and Theon. Those were the only three that I would commit to. And I was pretty right. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to throw this out here for both of you and everybody out there. How does this set up the whole Jamie Searcy thing? Uh, well, there's going to be a, there's going to be a confrontation. Well, Braun is still he has he still has orders to kill Tyrion yeah. and Jamie for her, and we haven't seen Braun since Episode One when she sent out that order. Yeah, I don't think he's going to do it. I don't think he's going to do it either. I, I, Steve thinks he's going to do it. I 95% don't think he's going <laughs> to oh. do it. Let's just, yeah, let's say like 95% and that way when if it does happen, we can be like, eh, well. <laughs> you may think about it and then not. <sighs> yeah. Ooh. This episode, right. though, was so stressful. I'm it like, was. It was. I'm tense, too, still. And, and um, the dead rose <sighs> from the crypts. Yep. That I was not expecting that people had called that. And I thought, I don't think when he does that. I think it has to be who he's changed. But then they started coming through the wall and I was like, yep, y'all were right. They're coming through. The yeah, you guys were all right. Those of you that said uh, that the dead were going to rise. I definitely was like, nah, they're like, they're like ashes now. They're like powdered because they've been in there so long. <laughs> I did see someone say, so, Everyone, I thought, pretty much predicted that Grey Worm would be done. Yeah. He's alive. I had, I had him written off, too, with Brienne and Theon, definitely, yeah. Yeah. Same, and, and Tormund as well. Yeah, we thought that Tormund was going to die. I did, too, because he had that big moment last episode with the whole story time. And <laughs> yeah. With the giant smell. I thought, oh, they're just making him more endearing again. They're ripping him from us I'm next so, week. I'm so glad most of that group made it through. I know the the party group uh, with Tyrion and yeah, yeah. Podrick and Gendry, everybody. I thought, well, Podrick's going to go to like he'll die saving Brienne or something, you know, noble because he wants he's her squire and he that was something he would do. But yeah, I'm just like Upstairs. I'm not disappointed, but I'm shocked. I'm like the Night King's dead, and several people I thought may go are completely fine. I figured um, every other one was dead in that room. Yeah, that's, pretty much. Yeah, like half of the half of the characters are going to be dead, right. and we're going to be like. I mean, I'm still heartbroken by the deaths that did happen. Exactly. But I thought I was going to be much more heartbroken. It's I guess is the only thing I can say. Did anybody see Gilly during this whole episode? I was going to ask y'all that about with the Crips when all that was happening. We needed to see Gilly okay with Little Sam. Where yeah. I did not see them one time. <laughs> did anybody in the in the comments I see thought, Gilly? I thought I saw somebody in the comments say that Gilly was still alive, but I just don't remember seeing. I didn't see her. Yeah, I don't remember seeing her after all that chaos. Somebody has seen her twice. Saw okay. her at the end. Okay. Yes. She, wow, yes. I so did every, not catch so it. everybody I thinks she's alive, but then again, everything was happening so fast that it's like. I, we probably missed so much stuff. Ooh. I think so. Yeah. What do you have? Do you have a question? I have a theory. Oh, a theory? Okay. So a theory from Christy Finley is, I'm worried that Bron will try for Jamie. Brienne mm -hmm. will see it. She'll push him out of the way and get hit. She'll die in Jamie's arms, and Jamie will go kill Cersei. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. You think they'll give us that though? I like it. I, I like I don't it. like that. I it's <laughs> but it, it's I know you don't like it, but I like the theory. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, because then I guess Jamie would know, okay, Cersei sent him to kill me. So now that would be like, okay, this bitch is done. Right. Kind of gave the mountain the nod, remember? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So he's already done. He's already done. But the fact that she would really, really do continually, it. yeah, continually yeah. like send assassins to try and take him out and stuff. 
I mean, I don't well, want to see Brienne or Jamie go, but well, I'm, I'm sure one of them is going to go. Someone else, I'm, that's good. That's okay. Oh, well, Cassie made a good, good point. When Arya made her big dash to the Night King, the Night King paused his, his dead from attack mode to yeah. standing still. And that's when Arya made her attempt. That's when she made her move. Oh. Okay. Which I did catch that, but I didn't think about it until now. That's really good. Back and yeah, I mean, he was going for his weapon yeah. he was to kill Bran. Yeah. And then all of a sudden I see Arya and I'm like, no. <laughs> so how in the heck did John make it out when he was charging for the Night King? And then the Night King turned around and spookily looked around at him. I thought, and, this is how they're taking John out? Like, yes. surrounded? He was holding the sword like Battle of the Bastards, and we all yeah. had, oh no. He has been surrounded so many freaking times. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how that happened. And Viserion was shooting the blue fire out at him, and I thought, that's it. That's that's it. it. Yeah. Uh, I was like, John, when he went out to go grab his sword, I was like, John. <laughs> what are just, you doing? <laughs> can you just lay there and act dead or something? I mean, put a body over you and just lay there and just. Uh, Christy yeah. Finley made a good point. Barrick Barrick was brought back to uh, brought back to life from death six times just so he he would be the one to save Arya and Arya yeah. would go on to kill the Night King. Wow! Wow! Right. wow. So that was why so the Lord of Light kept him I alive. Have, I have chills. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, same. Look at this. Look at this. This is crazy. Christy Finley, that is. That's a good observation because I was like, well, he's meant to save somebody important. I knew that. Like, he right. is meant to save somebody important, but I hadn't put that together until right. then because I, it's craziness, you know. And that neat little brief talk that she had with Barrick whenever she was talking to the Hound last episode. And he goes, was he on your list? And she was like, for a little while. And he was like, that's all right. It was it was so swept under the rug. But thinking back to it now, it's like their bond was so much stronger from what Melisandre has said than we even thought. It's like, wow. Because they had her hostage at one point. You know, they had her. And then yeah. She and went back to the hound. And she was like, I'm going to kill you. Now, I, you know, it makes me wonder, you know, the whole Bron, Jamie, Tyrion thing. How is yeah. that going to play out? Does, I just, does, he I sell, like, does he sell his soul to, to I the don't, money? I honestly do, don't think he will. I don't remember. Tyrion always said, if anybody hires you to do something, uh, I'll pay double. Yep. So I feel like he's going to go to him and say, hey, your sister uh, wants me to kill you and your brother. Right. Um, and... I, I don't think he would. I did not even think I'd be talking about this right now because I, I figured the Night King was still. I know. <sighs> okay, so we're halfway through season eight, which is weird to say for I, right six episodes. I mean, we've never had six episodes, but seven was cutting it. Um, but so we're halfway through, and now the Night King's dead. Yeah, I don't. I can't think that far ahead. With not me. after this episode. Not right now. Yeah. Yeah. My not brain, right my brain is still too consumed with this episode to yeah. even think about what could happen exactly. other than I, I have no idea because I didn't think this episode was even gonna go like this. I didn't think the Night King was gonna show up. When George and I had our little live stream, we did something this weekend. Yeah. We we're talking about what maybe could happen and who we thought we were gonna die tonight. We both said, well, the Night King's not going to make an appearance. Like, he's he's not going to be in the forefront of the battle. He's the big wig. He's going to sit back. Kind of yeah. like, like Danny and John were doing it at some point, looking. And then he showed up, and I thought, why? Well, I didn't think I'd see him till season four or five and come in later and kind of, because I thought the battle would kind of go on. Yeah, I mean, I, you don't, I, I would have thought that that would have been a smarter move on his part anyway to, like, let everybody let all of his army handle everything kill everybody and then when everybody's dead then he goes in mm -hmm. like i i did think honestly i did think that he was not going to make an appearance until like maybe the very end of the episode or right. or right. it would show him like going off to king's landing or like right. something you know there were theories out there too that 
season three, uh, sorry, episode three was going to be the beginning of the battle. And there was like a storyline. And then like episode four was the middle and episode five was the wrapping up. And then that way episode six was going to be kind of on its own and it would leave us however. Right. But all that shot to hell because that's, that didn't happen. That yeah. Was done. So that's apparently, I, I don't even know. Like we know. Okay. So episode five is probably going to be, Episode five is going to be another battle, right? Or another big episode. I got, right? I got two really funny comments okay. that are okay. really, really good. Okay. Uh, Ava Greenwell. Oh, sorry. Ava Greenwell said, Hodor held the door and no. Beric held the corridor. <laughs> the corridor. And the best one, the best one here is only a fool would meet the Dothraki in an open field. White Walkers, hold my uh, beer. Hold my beer. <laughs> <laughs> that meme better be up tomorrow. It, it, I know yes. it will be. It will be. That was, that That's was a good, good one. That is a good one. But yeah, and I mean, we already kind of yeah. Have, yeah. Um, just from theory videos and stuff that I've watched that all the Dothraki were going to be gone somehow. I already kind of figured that, and I figured the Unsullied would do their thing and hold them off as long right. as they could. Right. Um, yeah. Based on just theory videos I watched and like book stuff, I guess. Um, and they, that's exactly what they did. But now everybody's, <laughs> they're all gone. And Craig made a good comment here too. Okay. Um, the next episode is directed by Nutter who did one and two. Okay. Uh, this director will do episode five again. So we know what's going to happen there. Miguel Sapat. Miguel Sapat, yes. Okay. I can never say his name. Lacey, I let her do all the hard names. I just sit back. Half the time I say um, I'm wrong anyway. So. so likely a big battle. And D&D &D themselves direct the finale. Oh. Okay. Who is D&D? &D? Gabe and Dan. The creators. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's interesting. Hmm. Okay, so five, we can expect probably King's Landing. Something yes. going on at King's Something Landing. going on there. I don't know what, because they don't have an army anymore. Other than maybe... You, you have Tyrion that knows that yeah, place and in and out. I'm assuming Arya is going to be little assassin and ninja. She's going to be little ninja. Of course. Yes. She's, she's good for at least... What is she up to? 150 deaths now? <laughs> I mean, pretty much. Are. I think she's way beyond that now with all them. Uh, well, I don't know. Do you, are we counting people that are already dead? <laughs> I know. Yeah, really. Oh, <sighs> I, I did get uh, American Mom. I did get the, the name officially for this episode is called The Long Night. Oh, it, it. it was a long night. It, all right. it was pretty dark. <laughs> I'm going to be up for the rest of the long night. Yeah, me Same too. Here. Same here. Starting to edit and stuff. So, yeah, it's going to be a long night. So where's everybody from? I always like to, to kind of see where everybody's from. Yeah. Where, where, where is everybody from? And then nobody answers. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, we didn't want to talk about that, but... <laughs> Louisiana, uh, South Carolina, woo! -hoo! Neighbors of mine. 365. England. Oh, now fast. Okay. Ooh, there Ooh. we go. Virginia, <laughs> Ireland, Iran, Tennessee. Ireland. Philippines, Georgia, Ohio. Montana. Wow. Fulton, Ohio, <laughs> Pittsburgh, Italy. Italy. North Carolina, Danny Young. <laughs> We're in North Carolina. Jackson, Michigan, Champaign, I L L I N I. <laughs> yep. Arizona, Michigan, Saudi Arabia. Yes. Greg, I'm right behind your couch. That's creepy, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get bit by our ghost. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> That's funny. Phoenix, Arizona, <laughs> Ontario. The UK. Oh my gosh, it's early out in the UK. They're five, what, five hours ahead of us? Yeah. 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 I was like, it's well, it's uh 10, 10 19 here. 
It's 1119. 1119 there. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, Killing Anna says, I feel like everyone lives in a better place than I do, laughing out loud. France, Italy, something fantastic. <laughs> I think we all feel that way at times. I, I feel that way most of the time in Illinois. Yeah. It's like always cold. Oh, it's um, beautiful right now. It's spring. It's a, surprisingly, right now, it's like decent, but. I love the spring. It's been 80, like 83, 84 degrees here. Nice and <laughs> breezy, but you know, I'm just saying. <laughs> She's like, not <laughs> my fault. That's the weather I would live at all the time. I would right love it. It's like here, it's like we get up in the morning and it's like 35 degrees. We have to wear a winter coat. And then by noon, it's like 70. And if 70. Well, yeah, I, mean, I still wear shorts. Yeah. Doesn't oh, yeah. Matter. You wear shorts all the time. But yeah. it comes out and it's 70. That's fine with me. That's like a nice fall day. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> 70 is a nice fall day. Fall, yeah, fall here, I'd say, is like maybe 40s, 50s. So Missouri, nothing special. Missouri is a beautiful place. Yeah. There, there's some really been, beautiful area in we, Missouri. We've been to the Ozarks in yes. Missouri. Yep. Yes. I think uh, us and American moms should do a live stream from a boat. <laughs> from Missouri, from, from the, the, lake Ozarks. the Ozarks. <laughs> Ooh, I haven't been to a lot of places. I haven't been to Illinois. Oh, it's... Oh, it's you, gotta, have, you have to visit Chicago. It, wow. If if you ever make it, we are going for deep dish uh, Giordano's pizza. Okay. Uh, in it's Chicago, good. amazing. You, okay. You'll love it. It and, is good. And the city itself is is really a beautiful thing. I've heard it, that. I've heard. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. It's it's nice. It is nice. It's pretty pretty awesome. It's uh. It's just so. It's the atmosphere. I think. I just happen to know my way around Chicago, so. We're, you're in good hands. Poor guy. <laughs> oh man, this is, I don't know. I, I just can't focus on anything today, tonight. Someone said what happened to Giants Bane? So that was that. Oh, Tormin? Tormin, he's fine. He's fine. Yeah, I guess. I, I mean, yeah, I don't remember seeing him at the end. I but... did. I saw him at the end. But if he didn't die, but we know he's if alive. we didn't see him die, then right. he's okay. Yeah. yeah. Right. I mean, there was so much going on. Like, well, I mean, we're definitely going to, like, when we get off the live stream, we're definitely going to be watching it again. I'll be putting it back on too. Yeah. Exactly. Absolutely. And it's mainly just so we can turn off all the lights and, like, so we can see better. Right. It's like, yeah, it's like, you know, when you have all the lights on, yeah, you can't really. Uh -huh. and you, can if you need to and just kind of pause it, rewind it, go back and be like, okay. exactly. Yeah. And like, just yeah. be able to focus better. Cause I think, you know, when you're a big ball of nerves, it's hard to kind of focus on. I can only imagine what you two were like the whole show, because <laughs> I know how lazy was. She was a ball of nerves and I'm sitting there going, it's going to be okay. <laughs> I know she's going to be sore tomorrow. Stress balls, Lacey. They're wonderful. Yeah. I know. I was like, I was like this. I, yeah. <laughs> what I should have got her was one of them bouncy balls. <laughs> that you, that you, bounce, that you sit on and like in the office. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Just to. Well, that's the thing. Like when the Night King shattered and everybody went, that's when we started seeing people come like out from inside the buildings. And that's when we saw Jamie and Brian. And I started seeing that people were okay. So we have to go yeah. back and be like, okay, there they are. Maybe we'll see ghosts. I don't know. It's like, uh, I'm going to assume he's alive. And I, and I, I hope, oh, please. Nymeria and ghost. She's got to make another appearance. She I would, I would think she would. I'm I shocked would she didn't in this one. Well, it even, really but even if like, even if she would have made an appearance, like, I, I, there was a point in the show where I was like, ah, I don't like in my head, I was thinking, no, I don't see her making an appearance now. Right. I think it, that'll be reserved for probably five. Right. Right. Maybe, maybe Aria gets into some trouble or something happens and she just like jumps out of nowhere, just like Aria kind of jumped out of nowhere. <laughs> well, she kind of showed up. Yeah. Yeah. Before. Uh, so, yeah, I, I think she still has a, a, a a place to play in this yet. I feel like, so. yeah. I hope so. Cause Arya looked at her and said, it's me girl. I'm going back home. But if they leave Winterfell, it's like, yeah, they're going South. They're going that way. As yeah. devastating as I thought this, this army of the dead would be in the night King and everything. This happened way too easy. And I just feel like 
There we go. It's it's the living with all the mind. You know, I there's gonna be a lot put into this one. I I, I truly well, believe it's not gonna be that easy. They have a lot up their sleeves to to end it like this halfway through. Right. That's what makes me a little nervous. That's what we need to like let sink in, which we can't right now. Right. The next twenty four hours, we'll be like. Wait a minute. I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop. Yeah. And that's that's what I'm worried about now. Because <laughs> it's like I was going into this episode, I was like, everybody I love is going to die. And I'm going to be like horrified. And now I'm like, well, when are they going to die? Well, I would have thought, I would have bet money once the, the Night King kind of had Arya. That was. Oh, me too. It, I, she was done. Yeah, he was yeah. talking about the throat. And, that, and uh, that was not a good feeling I had uh -uh. at all. Uh -uh. I didn't like it. No, that was too close. I I thought she was a goner. I did. Yeah. And then and then she dropped the knife, and I couldn't okay. tell. Lacey I, thought Bran. Yeah, I couldn't it. tell. Like I was like, did Bran grab it as she dropped it? I saw or, her come underneath. Yeah, and, I, but it was like I said, it was all happening so fast that I was like. I couldn't tell was it Aria that like dropped it and then caught it, or was it Bran that caught it after she dropped you it? You might have seen it right. I have to go back and watch that. I thought Aria caught it, but I don't know it's because we have to go back and it, that happened way too fast. It was so right. awesome, but it was it did. we didn't believe it was happening, so we couldn't have caught everything. <laughs> did we? Good question from the stream. Okay, Brian. Uh, Takarik, if if I said that wrong, I'm sorry. What do you guys think of Sansa and Tyrion talking about being married again? That was so weird, but I like it. Question. Yeah, I I was kind of like uh, shocked by it. Yeah, but like in a good way. Like I think that that might be okay. I think it would be okay, but was it also in the moment of we could die right now and? just throw this out there. Maybe it would have been nice, but now that we're okay, like I wouldn't really consider it. I don't know. I don't know how it was meant. It was a nice moment. It was a nice moment. If it would happen. Oh, I'm, and then Masande is like, oh yeah, everything would be all better if the dragon queen was gone. I was like, oh dang. Oh dang. Like yeah. They were talking. Oh, about I, thought, I thought that might be the end of her. And yeah. when she was being surrounded and when uh, Jora took the, the oh, stab. I was worried too. I was yeah. worried that Danny could die right there because. Oh, yeah. That was so stressful though. Like I, I was John like. John had just left. John had just said to Jora, Bran. Yeah. Bran. Yeah. Did, yeah. When, Bran, when Danny was still on the dragon, he was, and she had basically saved John. He and he like, like Bran, like right. he had to go. I'm letting you know, I'm leaving. Yeah. And then they were just like, and then they were like oh, no. Wow. <laughs> From the chat as well. And I I love these kind of comments. Craig Castellecki like put this in here. Uh, this is from Andrea Barton. Arya killed the Night King with the same move she used on Brienne. Yeah. That, yeah. yes. When she was practicing, they were like, teasing each other and playing around. Yes. She dropped yeah. it and they went. Once yeah. again, goosebumps. I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Well, was that the same move though? Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, it wasn't falling. Pretty much, well, it was, I mean, it was kind of the same. It really was. It was kind she of. She took it out of like her thing, but I guess it was kind of basically. She wanted to stay, you know, Stab yeah, and, and then, then the way she stabbed like, him, I think, was the was same. Like from this hand, she popped it to this one and then went. Phew. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. That, that, was, and that is what she did with Brienne. You did okay. that really <laughs> good. You did that good, American mom. I think you're Arya in the spinoff series. <laughs> she is my daughter. <laughs> I know it. American mom. Arya she learned it all from me. <laughs> there we go. That is great. <laughs> Top heroes from tonight: Arya, Melisandra, yeah, Jorah, mm -hmm. Theon, okay. and Sandor. 
I would agree. Yeah. I would agree with that. That was from Cassie. Yes. I would agree with that, Liz. I would agree with that. And Barrick. Would, Barrick. Definitely. And Barrick. Barrick oh, Barrick, Barrick. Yeah. I would say Barrick would, should definitely be included as a hero in yeah. this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, for he, sure. he sacrificed himself to save Arya. Yeah. So, and those yeah. Two died. Barrick, Theon, and Jorah. Yes. So, yeah. So they're automatically heroes. Can, can we just be really, really super psyched that Arya is the one to kill the Night King? <laughs> Can we just can we just take that in for a moment? A moment of silence Breathe for Arya. That in for a I mean, I figured it would be John. Oh, I figured yeah. it would be John. I did too, oh, wow. honestly. Yeah, yeah. He was Never on his way. Arya. Never. Mm -mm. I thought Arya would kill Cersei. Oh, they're saying in the comments we need to add Liana Morma into the oh, yeah. heroes. Yeah. That Yes. Agreed. A hundred percent. She killed a freaking giant. The giant yeah. would have killed so the, many more. The okay. small, the, the David slew the giant. <laughs> the basically. smallest yeah. one, the yeah. smallest one there killed the biggest thing there. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that is awesome, you guys. Yeah, thank you for reminding us about Liana because that's a big one. That's a big one. Uh, I'm trying to make that and see, she always said she wouldn't be sitting by the fire knitting, that she would be out there fighting, and she did. Yep. That yeah, she said uh, I, that is exactly what she said. She's going to protect her people, and that is what she did. Lacey, yep. I'm going to let you read this one. Uh -oh. know, that one from Killing Anna. Um, from Roco Loco, Malisandra told Arya back in season two. I think, yeah, I think it was season two. Or yeah, uh, that she will close brown eyes, little finger, blue eyes, night king, and green eyes, question mark. Oh. Uh, and then it says Daenerys question mark does because she have Daenerys green eyes? has green. Does she have green eyes? Well, that's what I'm trying to figure out is who is the green eyes. I thought they were blue. Ooh, I need to take a drink. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of mine. <laughs> I don't. I don't know if I would say uh, Daenerys has green eyes, though. I thought she had blue. I think she does. She blue. had blue eyes. Cersei. I don't. Quick. I don't Cersei? think Cersei has green eyes. Cersei has green eyes. Ooh. So Cersei would be more so than Daenerys that I would think. Cersei has green eyes. Hmm. Thoughts. <laughs> Arya, you battle party girl. I I just love her. I know her and Gendry. Whoop, because he's the right player. Yes. Yep. What do you think about that? Because Maybe Arya is totally pregnant. I'm just gonna say, Danny has Danny. I don't even know if she's pregnant right now, unless she's just not showing, or unless she's not pregnant. Cersei, we don't think she's pregnant. Everybody's pregnant. Cersei, yeah, we thought everybody was pregnant, but like. There's no bellies anywhere, so it's yeah. like it's always in the water, you know. <laughs> they play in the water, all the ladies. They all get pregnant right around the same time. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we, we keep having questions like, "Where's Ghost?" Same. We're we're yeah. thinking the same thing, I believe. Yeah. We, we didn't see him die like a big. They would have done it slow mo and let us see something, right? Saving someone, so he he should be fine. Too big of a character, or too big of a. Too big of a of, of uh, gosh, what am I trying to say? Um, he's a character. Ghost is yeah. a, he's a yeah. character. Too big of a character to not yeah. be. Yeah, you can't just assume that he's dead ever because they they've would. Shown, they've shown every other dire wolf. Exactly. So yeah, there's he, Ghost is fine wherever he is. We just yeah. don't know where he is. Who gets uh, Jorah's Valerian sword? Danny. I don't know, or maybe Sam, Sam gave him that. that. Sam gave him that. I kept thinking Jor was going to save Sam because Sam had given. His I think he did sword. at one point. He, I think he did save him at one point in the show. Who? Jorah. Jorah saved Sam. Yeah, that's what yes. I thought. Yeah, yeah, at some point. Big time. Uh, he was laying down. He was getting, and he was. He getting, was starting to get bit. And he goes, ah, he, and I thought that was going to be the end of oh. Sam. And Jorah. Jorah. Yeah. He yeah. did save him. Oh, good. Yeah. yeah. So that really played. Okay. Because yeah. I yeah. thought that would be neat for 
that to happen kind of full circle because yeah Commander Mormont was like Sam Tarly you're not gonna die and have y'all seen uh Zurich 23 M's video everything we've been through uh we haven't seen that yet no to watch it we okay. will we will I've, I've we've been getting a lot of people saying to watch it he did it he Kate did Richard it. thank you so much uh, that dagger was thrust into the plot in episode two. It helped start the Stark Lannister war. It was in Sam's dragon glass book. Okay. Finger gave it to Bran who foreshadowed <coughs> it, giving it to Arya. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would agree. I would, uh, Richard, I would totally agree that that, and I, I totally think Bran knew what was going to happen somehow like that whole time. Yeah. Do, do you want to escape me? And maybe I was, off thinking about something else during that whole episode. But <laughs> during the, the crazy. But when Arya was on the roof and she looked like she was sliding down and the mm -hmm. hound went for her, that scene just kind of cut. Yeah, like we were we were kind of freaking out that the hound was the one that was following her after being changed. Right. Oh. I was kind of worried about that for a while. Yeah, because he went like, and I knew like, okay, that's going to snap him out of it. Right. And Aria. it did. It and did. it did. It did. I got goosebumps. I know. Me too. What about her? And I thought. And he's oh, like, God. and then he's like, oh, and then he like. He, he, he did like the think flip. about it. Yeah, it's like the, the uh, switch flipped. I don't know how anyone could have predicted this episode. I think all these theories, I mean, some yeah. of them got it right. But yeah. I was nowhere near no. seeing this episode ending the way it did. I thought for sure they were going to cut us off and yeah. we banging somehow. Yeah, like the Night King was like they right had like they Graham. had to retreat or they had to like book it or something because they were all dying and then they'd still be following them. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's what I thought was going to happen. Because if, yeah. if, if if he would have killed Bran and there would have been this endless night. Then the other three episodes, it's like I couldn't see where else it would go. Yeah. I definitely didn't think the Viking was going to die either. So no, that's happened. So it's like, it's still so surreal. It's like, what? It's okay. still, yeah. It's like we're still trying to wrap our I heads around. I still it. have, you know, and, and this is probably not the time tonight to talk about it, but what was his end game? What did he want? I mean, in all this, I that's been the question that's haunted me. Or, or well, Brand humanity. He was our he was our past, present, the future, all humanity, right? Right. He's yeah. all our memories, so he just wanted to wipe he all wanted, that. Away. He wanted to wipe out all the all memories and all all history. So uh, Bran was his end game. Yeah, like that was his end game to kill Bran. The three eyed raven. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when he marked him, he could always find him. Yeah. I. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's that. That's you know. for another loop. Now put that in your thing to think about tonight. Right. <laughs> in your little notes. Yeah. <laughs> You'll be like. I've done so well. Oh, no. I've done so yeah. well. <laughs> I'm like, how are you writing right now, Steve? How oh, are you even it. doing that right As now? As you can tell, only I could probably read this stuff because it's. <laughs> I'm writing as as I'm watching. Um, oh, I did it. I couldn't. I couldn't. Did you guys see Ava? She's sneaking down here, even though she's supposed she, to be laying down. She's oh, been no. Go to bed. Right. Look at that hair. <laughs> she has been wanting to say hi for I don't know how long. You want to say hi? Hi. Hi. <laughs> I'll say hi for everybody. There's a lot of people yeah. now, Ava. It's not just me. Oh, yep. There's a lot of people watching. But you got to go to bed tonight, right now. Yep, you got to go lay down, baby. Yes. I'll be up there pretty soon to give you a kiss, okay? Okay. Okay, okay. we'll tuck you in. <laughs> they're in the comments. They're like, you get to bed, young lady. <laughs> <laughs> I know she's got school in the morning. Hey. Uh, Fun fact from the stream, Andrea Barton, D and D said they knew for three years that Arya would be the one to kill the Night King. And then also from Lisa, who will get Malasandra's necklace? Will anybody get it? 
Hmm. She threw it down. Well, the light oh. went down in it. I think doesn't she just have to wear it? I don't think it just works on anybody, would it? Because when you know it always lights up. When she threw it down, the red light went out of it. So I don't know. That's yeah. I would feel like it's like meaningless now. I think it would do. I mean, that's just what the I only would one think, I would but... see picking that up would be uh, Davos. Maybe Davos is like a like to keep it as a keepsake. Like she basically just saved our butts in a way. Not oh, really. Yeah. But... Remember whenever she and Varys had that conversation about we're going to meet each other again. We're both going to die in this foreign land. They never had another exchange. I thought that that might have happened. Right. Yeah, I was expecting yeah, that too. And if anything, I was expecting maybe Varys, like he's, I feel, I still feel like he's going to die. Right. May, I mean, I feel like he is, but it'll be in a different way. Maybe even Danny. Mm. If he's ever thinking about not yeah. talking her again, because she said, you'll tell me to my face. Exactly. That agreement. But Mel Melisandre did say we're both going to die in this plan. She didn't say when. He could live for when, time. Yeah. Or how or where, yeah. or, but just right. there somewhere. So, yeah, that's I, I figured that they would maybe talk one more time. But, but yeah, I want to know what, what he saw in the fire. That was like a big thing. Like, oh, like, I'm, I'm sure we'll find that out. Mm -hmm. I'm sure we'll find that out. But it's like I thought it had something to do with this whole thing mm -hmm. in some way. Yeah, me too. I it still it, it still leaves us with more questions. I know. I still I'm like my brain hurts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's so tense. Okay. Yeah, Grey Worm lived. Uh uh somebody was saying I think Grey Worm lived. He did live. He's still alive. Mm -hmm. Um pretty much everybody is still alive except for the ones that we were mm -hmm. uh Theon, Jora, Melisandre, Lyanna, Beric, and Ed. Yes. Yeah. And everybody else is alive somehow. A lot of people did pick a few of them from what I've seen to, to die. Um, uh, the only one I would say probably out of that group was definitely Jora. Yeah. Um, I did not see that. You coming. didn't see that one? No. And now there's no more Mormonts. Uh. That's right. died. Oh, yeah. That's, that, right. that's the end of their house right there. That's it. Oh, man. Oh, I just thought about that. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> now we're just <laughs> crushing me again. <laughs> More oh. waves. See how it just comes in waves? It's like there was another wave. Yep. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Well, that might be the funniest comment. Aria lost her V and gained a V. <laughs> A victory. a victory. Yeah, victory. <laughs> yeah, I would. I mean, she's all about uh, uh, that moment. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad Gendry and her lived through this. Yeah. I still think when you said something earlier, American Mom, that has popped into my head a couple times. Yeah. He is the. I mean, he's the like last living Baratheon at this yeah. point, not tech. I mean, not legitimized, but I feel like that could come. I feel sure. like this was, I, I still think he is Cersei's child that she says died because he had black hair. I've been thinking I've been, the yeah, same. We've been kind of thinking no, about that so theory a lot lately too. Bastard at all either. Yeah. I mean, why would they even make that whole thing in season one about Cersei having this child. Yes. That was like, why'd they even put that in there and put so much emphasis on it? Yeah. Yeah. To yeah. have it mean nothing because like number one, it was, she was only supposed to have three children, huh? but she didn't. She had another, she had a fourth that apparently died, but that was still a child that she would have had. Right. So you you just don't count that kid because it didn't live past infancy. But like, just I, like just like the witch told Danny she could never have any more children. Yeah. And but Malisandra. Malisandra said prophecies are tricky things. Yes. So, so her three golden children might yep. not have been it. So maybe she did have three golden children. But, but also mm -hmm. 
That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that could be that could be another twist that comes, maybe. Right. So is I it Danny and John for the throne, or is it, or is it Gendry? Mm -hmm. it, it makes me wonder if Gendry doesn't. So. Arya and Gendry, king and queen. That's what I think. And John <laughs> and John and Danny go off to. <laughs> Or maybe, yeah. To or live in that cave maybe, further than the waterfall. <laughs> maybe Danny finally does realize that uh, to give up the crown for the people, for the person she loves or whatever. Because John doesn't want it. John doesn't no. want it. John doesn't want it. Even though he's really good at it. Yeah. But I don't think, I feel like Gendry wouldn't want it either. I don't either. <laughs> I, don't I, feel think like, I feel like it could, it could end up That's being true. Sansa and Tyrion. Oh, wow. Ooh, Lacey. They threw us that little tease. They threw yes, they did. Yes, so they did. Sansa would make an amazing queen. And Let's they've, be been, they've been through hell and back together. And Tyrion would make an amazing king, if you think about it. Oh, he's always been, yeah. Wow. Hmm. <laughs> there was another Ooh. one. <laughs> Ooh, the the roller coaster of. The roller coaster of theories. <laughs> I like this. I like that. I I think that it might end up being Sansa and Tyrion in the end. I kind of ninety percent agree with you now. <laughs> you gotta, really we gotta leave like the five percent for Arya and Gendry. <laughs> and I think some people are saying more twists. But yeah. Yeah. Because wow. they have up for some reason this episode. And you, do you know what else I think is going to happen? They're going to banish the whole bastard thing. Like, oh, for sure. Like Masande, sure. remember Masande saying, oh, we don't have marriage in mm -hmm. Nath, so therefore bastards don't exist. Right. I right. love that. So it won't matter that Gendry is a bastard because that could be not. Yep. It doesn't exist anymore. Ooh. Does that make sense? It makes yep. perfect sense. Well, John yeah. was king and he was a bastard, and then Tommen was also a child of incest, not his fault, but then he was king. So yeah, it happened. I feel like they're going to ban, like they're going to get rid of that whole thing. Yeah. Like, no more bastards because all it does is it all, it's just bad. It's all, well, it has it's been. pointless. Yeah. So get rid of that. Get rid of like, it's going to be a whole new thing at the end of this, basically. Was Bran just warging and worrying? I would say watching into the birds the whole time scouting. Yeah, I, I think we, yeah, we don't know. I think we said it as kind of a joke at first, but maybe there is something to that. Somebody was saying that Bran should have warged into the ice dragon. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like you can't, like, I feel like he can't warg into something dead, right? Is that just me or like, does it have to be living for I think him it has to warg to be into? That's I think what I'm thinking. Living. I think it would have to be living. Yeah. I haven't yeah. never thought about it before, but now that I'm thinking about it. it yeah, would, yeah. I, I, I would feel like he'd, it'd have to be, or at least maybe one of the other dragons. I'm going to tell you something right now. I'm just happy as heck that dragon's dead. Maybe Bran was warging into one of the dragons. Rhaegal or Drogon. Remember when Rhaegal and the ice dragon they were fighting, fighting each other? Maybe Bran was warging into him. I don't know. I mean, that's a possibility. I feel like they would have showed that, but yeah, uh, I'm going to leave it with the crows right now and scout. <laughs> he was scouting. Okay. Maybe He's like, don't throw another curveball at me. I can't handle it. Right, my brain can only go so far, <laughs> Lacey, and then I know. I know. You'll see a lump or something. But you see where my brain is going. It's going like, well, maybe we don't know. Like, maybe Arya and Henry could be the leaders. Maybe Sansa and Tyrion. I do like your theories on that. I do. I did like that, too. Oh, I, I like the whole that. bastard goes away thing. Like, yeah. no more bastards. I feel like that could happen. That yeah. could happen. Aiden, I think we all came to the conclusion, we believe Rhaegal is alive. Um, yeah. We, they would have showed. They, they would have put more emphasis on it. I we think he's in a crash land, but we yeah, okay. they, they made the big killing of the 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 dragon, yeah. the yeah. dragon. Yeah, they made that. They emphasized that. So right. I feel like they're if one of the other dragons had died, like Rhaegal, 
We saw him crash land, but we never officially saw him die. Right. So I would think he's just injured. He's pulling a Drogon like he did in like season five or whatever, right. or the end of season, whatever it was. Yeah. Yeah. Season five, the end of season five with Danny. Mm-hmm. He's just resting. <laughs> and didn't the Night King just have the most beautiful smile? And uh, he, I hated was, that. He was getting... Fire. Yes. Yeah, that, that, that smirk. Hurt. Yeah, that smirk that he gave to, like, to Danny was yeah. it after she yeah. yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. He's, like, he's smiling like, at her. I'm like, I'm gonna smack that smile off his face <laughs> so bad right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh well, Arya took it off of him, so yeah. I'll take that. Oh, she's gonna take his. Maybe will she take his face? Can she take his face? Oh, I just threw us another curveball. Ooh. What do you think, Steve? Does she actually have to physically have it, though? No, I don't. I think don't so. think she does have to physically have it, but I don't know. Well, <laughs> That's what I'm saying. She has a hiding space for everything. She has, <laughs> yeah. She has random faces and bags. Like, does she? Sansa, uh, yeah, Sansa said it best. Does yeah. she have Littlefinger's face? Oh, that's I, been the big question. People keep saying he's alive. Mm. I don't see him. I don't see him. Yeah, I feel like he's shattered. He's gone. Like he's I feel gone. like she, I, I feel like she does have to have the face. You're but I, right. I could be wrong. I don't know. Well, they saved all the faces because they have to peel it. Yeah. Yes. Why, why? What's the point in doing that whole process if you didn't need to? True. You know, he shattered him. True, yeah. but she's probably already on that. She's doing that right now. She's doing it right now. Right, going no, around everything. She, she's picking up all the pieces of ice and like putting the face back together. <laughs> Give me a minute. I just need a minute. I gotta get the face. <laughs> They're like, "What are you doing?" What if she uses Littlefinger's face and goes back to King's Landing as Littlefinger? She could kill Cersei that way because Cersei trusts Littlefinger. Well, I don't know if I'd say trust. Well, yeah, but she wouldn't suspect anything. Uh, that would be think. the closest thing to an ally she would think she has, right? Right, because he's always been an ally in yeah. the past to her, yeah. kind of. No, not really. I still but think our curveball's coming, and we still have a curveball coming. I just don't know what the hell to think. It's, yeah, it's going to come, and we're just going to be blown away again. Because we have a third twist still, right? Yes. Well, we okay, we already said episode five is going to be another battle of some sort. Yes. yes. Something like what we saw today. Maybe yeah. at King's Landing tonight. Something at King's Landing or uh, so season. So episode four and six, that leaves those two. Something could happen next week. We don't know. I mean, this is so with the Night King dying. It's just totally thrown everything off. I don't know. Yeah, it's like, I don't know what to think. I don't, oh, go ahead. Uh, Killing Anna wrote from the stream, and my thought to Addison May says, I still think parts of Danny's visions in the House of the Undying have to come into play. Yeah. Danny and Bran had the same vision of the Thorn Room in Ashes. Yeah, wildfire is my guess. Was it in ashes or was it snow falling? That's what I. So many, but the Night King is dead now. So right. ashes. It, maybe it was ashes. It is. So I think maybe Cersei. I mean, she said how many times that she will burn this to city to the ground or this house to the ground. So she's going to burn the city to the ground. Well, do you remember, okay, also in Bran's vision, we saw a dragon's shadow flying over King's Landing. Right. So. So the dragons, maybe the drag. Oh. That could do it. Dra- I, I'm, I'm worried. <laughs> Read this one. I'm not sure how to propose that one because that one's a little more. Uh, remember when Blood Raven told Bran, if you stay warg too long, you'll drown, not come back. What if Bran was trying to get stuck in his vision or in one of the birds to avoid death. If the night King killed his human body. Oh, yeah. I guess I never really thought about it that way. Thinking ahead. Okay. I mean, I don't know what the significance of would be to warg into a bird though, but like 
since he's the three-eyed raven, could he then warg into the tree or something? Or I don't know. I don't know. I don't like to think too much about all that because it's just so confusing. That makes my head hurt. Yeah. Yeah. It's just it. I. Mm. He, he was. He was back to scouting. It. He was scouting you guys. That's what we're gonna say. <laughs> he yeah, yeah. he was up above waiting for the perfect moment for the Night King to walk up, and then he's like, "Okay, now I'm back. Now I'm back." And yep. I mean, possibly, but there's another big twist that I'm very concerned about. I don't think it's going to be good. Do you think Euron will mm. stay beside Cersei the whole time, or will he tuck tail? And I think he was using her like she's using him. That's how I yeah. feel. I think it's just a matter of who betrays who first. Yeah. Some one of them is going to betray the other one, but who's going to do it first? Cersei's the ultimate villain, thinking ahead ten steps. That's what every I'm saying. Because at first I was like, I think Euron's going to betray her, but then as I'm thinking about it, I'm like, well, Cersei's always three steps ahead. It seems like, so maybe she'll end up betraying him first. You know, and the thing of it is, is I don't think she was too worried. He was getting dressed and everything, and thinking about one thing when she's got her mind 10 steps well, her ahead. mind was way off somewhere else she always is oh, i don't my brain's not ready to comprehend all that yeah. right now <laughs> so anyway um i know we all got to get to to editing and um so what do you think about uh episode five okay the big battle scene american mom are you still there yeah Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> what do you think about doing this again after episode five? Yeah. Would you? I, I really enjoyed it. I yeah. absolutely. Yeah, loved this has it. been really fun. It's yeah, fun. I loved Definitely. it. Yeah. And um, so I, I figured we kind of get things closed down, kind of say uh, bye to everybody. And okay. um, once again, I had an amazing time. The show was amazing. Well, I mean, is there any? Is there anything that you uh, that we didn't talk about that you wanted to talk about before we just say goodbye and everything. I don't think so. I think we talked about the deaths and stuff. Um, I think the people that died other than lady Mormont and Melisandre, Melisandre had to, you know, said she had to die. Right. And lady Mormont killed the giant, like as she was dying to save a lot of people. Um, everybody else, Ed, Barrick, Theon, and Jor, they all died saving one of the other like main characters. Exactly. Arya, yeah. Bran, and Danny. So they weren't in vain. I think that was really good. I think they picked, I don't want to say good deaths because that's like an oxymoron, but you know what I mean? Right. I, I like who Lacey thought there was going to be so much more of a bloodbath. Right. Going to be a, a Jamie thrown in there or a Brienne or a Tyrion or I would have bet, somebody. I big. would have bet money on it. Yeah. I would have bet money so, on it. I just kept waiting for that moment. And I don't, I'm not glad it didn't happen. I'm just like, what? <laughs> now what? That, that's why when Aria at the end, I was like, this is it. Oh my gosh. This is going to be the big one. Yeah. Ugh. And that, that I don't know that I would have recovered from that one. Uh -uh. I don't know if we'd be talking as good as we are right no. now. No. No. Yeah. The night night. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, oh, sorry, you guys. No live stream tonight. <laughs> I can't do it another time. <laughs> We're just a glutton for punishment. <laughs> we came on here uh, before the show. We, we talked for a little bit. <laughs> and uh, I think we were all thinking the same thing. How yeah. are we going to do this? <laughs> right. It was like we're smiling now, but wait a minute. <laughs> we have right. like 10 minutes and counting, and this is going to happen. Oh. So, yeah. It, so, in two more episodes, yeah, let's do this again. But thank you for having me on the channel. I enjoy oh. watching y'all. We, we love you too. Yeah. We, absolutely. And uh, this has been epically fun for me. And it has been. It's been awesome. Just us all talking together and bouncing ideas off of each other. And yeah, yeah it's been awesome. But yep, 
Uh, thank you guys so much. Thank you, American Mom, for chatting with us. Yes. Um, and thank you to everybody in the stream right now who's leaving your comments and and watching us and joining in with us. We love it. We appreciate you guys so much. Yep. Uh, but yeah, next next episode. American ending. Mom, you take us out tonight. <laughs> okay. Thank y'all for joining us. Until the next video and the next time. Bye. Bye, you guys. Hope amazing happens <laughs> to you. Peace out. Yeah.